1825. All over the world, the modern era is being born. It's the Industrial Revolution. America is racing to catch up. In upstate New York, a man-made river is cutting through the wilderness. The Erie Canal is the biggest construction project in the Western world in the last 4,000 years. Over 300 miles long, dug entirely by hand, and America lacks a single qualified engineer. The United States of America isn't about to let nature stand in its way. I think of the spirit of America being imagination combined with tenacity. There's a strong work ethic, the wonderful freedom of creation combined with the mental muscle and physical labor. So to me, it represents the best of the human spirit. But the land doesn't always cooperate. A wall of solid limestone, 60 feet high. Just 30 miles from the finish line, Lake Erie. The canal will change everything, linking the Atlantic Ocean to the whole middle of America. It changes where people live and why, and turns the North into a global economic powerhouse. The man behind the canal is New York's gung-ho governor, DeWitt Clinton. Born to wealth, he won't take no for an answer. He wants to be president. Instead, he runs New York for 20 years. America was blessed with many inspirational leaders, and I think Dewey Clinton had a real sense of how important New York could be for America. Clinton's vision? To make New York rich. Politically, the canal is a huge gamble. It's savaged in the press as dangerous and too expensive. They call it Clinton's big ditch, but it will change New York forever. It is a work more stupendous, more magnificent, and more beneficial than has hitherto been achieved by the human race. Entrepreneurship is about doing things where you don't know what it's going to look like, you don't know what it's going to be made of, you just have this instinct that you can do it and it'll work. Those guys had visions and did it. 50,000 men, 11 million cubic yards of rock, enough to fill the Rose Bowl 26,000 times. Crews are filled with Irish immigrants. David Gilroy makes five times what he can earn back home. But it's hazardous work. They're literally moving mountains. And there's only one way through. Gunpowder. A highly combustible mix of nitrate, charcoal, and sulfur. The wrong proportions can be lethal. There's only one job that's more dangerous than lighting the fuse. Going back to relight it. To cope, workers drink. Whiskey calms the nerves and clouds the brain. An English tourist can't believe they're mixing alcohol and explosives. The Irish laborers grew so reckless of life that at the signal for blasting, they would just hold their shovels over their heads. I think when you're brought up in America, you're brought up on the history of hard work. 
There are so many immigrants that have died to build this country. That's in our bloodstream, that's in our DNA as Americans. We, we don't want their lives to go in vain. Because of that, we, we usually work harder than anybody else. Eight years of digging, nearly a thousand lives lost, seven million dollars, more than a hundred million today. The Erie Canal opens in 1825, a miracle of engineering, connecting East and Midwest. It's an instant economic superhighway. Fifteen million dollars of goods a year flow along the canal. Villages along the canal boom into dynamic cities, Buffalo, Syracuse, and Rochester. Goods crash in price, up to 95 percent. A frontier that had to be self-sufficient can now buy anything they want. Prosperity is on the move. New York City becomes a boom town. Wall Street takes off as a global financial center. The city quadruples in size and surpasses New Orleans as the nation's number one port. There's so much money around, the word millionaire is invented in 1840. The Erie Canal still shapes New York today. 80% of the upstate population still lives within 25 miles of it. 